Hello guys, and today I'm going to be showing you how to get a super simple librarian that will give you mending books right off the bat. And this is the easiest way to get mending books in your Minecraft survival and or creative world. This is also how you can get super simple trades from a librarian. For this project, the only two things that you're going to need is one untamed villager and one book pedestal or lectern uh, whatever you want to call it is totally fine uh, after you've gathered these all you have to do is simply get them in the corner and I'll show you the rest you can do mending books you can do all sorts of trades but as you can see here we have this one set up for mending and it's pretty cheap and easy to use so let's get right into the video shall we so I have this nifty little uh, trading hall I made. As you can see here, I'm slowly starting to fill it up. Um, it's unfinished, but you know we just want to get some villagers in here. I have a uh, weapon smith. I have a tool smith. I have a leather worker, and I have a fisherman. But as you can see, I definitely am in need of the other trades. I, over here, I have a mason. One of the ones I'm showing you how to get today is how do we get a uh, librarian and how do we get a librarian that immediately has mending so in order to do that we have to leave this and go get a villager that is step one so step one as you can see here I'm kind of gonna walk through my village here and over here I have my villager breeder where I infinitely make villagers uh, if you don't know how to make this I have a tutorial um, and then all I have to do is simply grab one villager let this guy come out all right, so we got our villager. Make sure he's a plain. Make sure he doesn't have any, uh, you know, he's, he's not a worker villager. He's just a plain villager. And then I'm going to take him in this boat and transport him all the way back over to our little uh, trading hall. Um, obviously, I made it kind of close, and I'm using these pathways to uh, connect everything. If you have it a little further away, there are multiple ways of transporting a villager. But for me, a boat it takes a couple of seconds. And we get ourselves back into our uh, trading hall here. Once we are in the trading hall, I'm going to get out of the boat, close the door. And now once I have one of these villagers in the stall, I'll show you what to do next. But that's the next step is getting this villager wherever you want him to be. Uh, usually in an enclosed space and then one block tall room. Um, but make sure there's room to place a workbench in front of him. And once you've done that, well, you know I'll, I'll go over the next step after that. All right, so as you can see here, I've gotten him to uh, head into one of these stalls. I placed a slab above his head so he can't jump out, and I placed a temporary block right here. I recommend using a trap door. One, the trap door prevents them from moving out of this spot, and two, you can also access the villager without having to break a block every time. So the way this works is even if you're not using this for a mending you know, book, but since we're doing it for the mending book, you're going to need a lectern. In order to make a librarian villager, you're going to need a lectern, and you're going to place the lectern in front of the villager, and all of a sudden the villager will pick up that trade, and you know, see he's got the hat, he's got the glasses on. When we right-click him, it'll show his available trades. Now the reason I like this trap door is now we can access his available trades and then still get rid of this block and not having to worry about him running away. After removing the block, you'll see after a second or two, he'll go back to being a normal villager. And when I right-click on him, he'll just shake his head because he's not an actual villager to trade with. And then I'll place the book down again. Turns back into a villager. All right, so this time his trades have uh, changed. He does paper, and he does give a book, but it's an efficiency book, and we don't want that. So we're going to, again, break this, place it down again, and we got a looting book this time. All right. Nope, not what we want. So we're going to try again. And we're going to keep doing this until we get a mending book. We got a multi-shot book that time. Oh, where'd the lectern go? Oh, it's behind him. Another reason why I like the trap door, you know, you can just close it and boom. I definitely recommend using a trap door. All right, multi-shot. No, we don't want multi-shot. This one, nope. So again, this process can be very tedious. Um, all you have to do is pretty much repeat this until you get one that says he's trading for a mending book. Nope, still no. Almost. Nope, alright, so let me continue this process and then I'll show you what it looks like once he finally has that mending trade. Alright, so after probably about 30 minutes of breaking and replacing this block right here, I finally managed to get a librarian that says mending. See, right off the bat, starting trade mending. Now, this is important. Before you do anything else, 
He trades 24 papered for an emerald. We're going to do that right away. The reason being, if his progress bar hasn't changed when you first spawned him in overnight or when you sleep, you might come back and he'll have a different trade and you have to start all over. So I recommend at least doing one trade, but we'll do a couple just to make sure that his level bar is up. Now there's no chance of him ever, ever losing that mending book. And that's all it took, replacing this. And now we have a villager with mending. So what do we need? We need 30 emeralds and one book equals one mending book. So let's, let's go get that to make sure he uh, gives me my book. All right, so I grabbed 30 emeralds, one book, and boom. Now we can get infinite mending books. And now all we have to do is attach this to whatever tool we want. And that is how you do it. This is the easiest way to get uh, simple mending books. If you want more tutorials or maybe you want to see the projects I'm working on, please let me know. Uh, don't forget that fan mail is still active. My P.O. box is in the description. And as always, thank you so, so much for watching. Thank you guys so much. And I hope this was helpful. Take care.